Sports Illustrated presents the amazing Vic, Bam, Boom, Anything Goes Bloopers. Brought to you by Budweiser. Beachwood aged for that distinctively clean, crisp taste that makes Budweiser the king of beers. For all you do, this Bud's for you. This home video takes you to ESPN for a blooper bonanza. It features a dizzying lineup of programming that you will never see on ESPN. On our fictitious foray, you'll see bumbling bloopers from ESPN's elite core of announcers, blunders from the world of rodeo, Aussie rules football, lacrosse, ice hockey, horse racing, college basketball, football, skiing, boxing, auto racing, baseball, and a whole lot more. Understandably, here in the Laker lottery, take three. East German Petra Felke set a world record today in the women's javelin. That's more than four and a half feet better than the old record. That's an interesting way to look at that record. I'll tell you. <laughs> so without further ado, it's time to send it to ESPN and our host for this home video, Roy Firestone. Welcome, everybody, to the amazing Biff, Bam, Boom, Anything Goes Bloopers. You're all in store for an old sports blooper marathon. Sit back and enjoy. Now to the baseball field and our very own Biff Barnes. Hi again, everybody. Biff Barnes here at uh, Jam Pack County Stadium. Well, I don't know about Jam Pack, but a number of fans have decided to come out to the game today. It's a beautiful day for, well, maybe not exactly a beautiful day, but it's, it's a bit windy. It is a bit windy here at the ballpark, but I'll tell you this, the ball players are ready to play some great ball. There's a drive to uh, left field. The left fielder coming back, coming in. Oh, he almost makes the catch. The runner going to third base. That's Ramirez. Interesting story about Ramirez. Comes from the Dominican Republic in the offseason. Ramirez trying to stage a military coup of his government. The uh, teammates rooting him on right now. You know, baseball's a great game, and uh, we're going to have some great promotional nights here at the ballpark coming up Oh, I guess a little bit later this month. That's right. Coming up uh, later on this month, one of our great promotional nights, Hard Liquor and Handgun Night. There's a drive to left field, and watch the way the left fielder, Jackson, makes this play. Well, he didn't quite make the play. You want to watch it. In fact, youngsters, don't try that at home. You might hurt yourself, and certainly it hurt your baseball game. This guy almost gets it right in the baseball game himself. Oh, boy, but he came close to that one, didn't he? Baseball is the kind of game that you gotta love, and you gotta love it coming up here August 15th at the park. That's right, it'll be post-nasal drip night. All the youngsters who are suffering from post-nasal drip get into the ballpark absolutely free. And sliding in with a stand-up triple is that guy right there, Jackson. Baseball is our game, and it's here at County Stadium. You won't want to miss action like this one. Well, maybe you'll want to miss that particular bit of action. But still remember, we try our best here at the ballpark, and so does everybody, including this guy right here. Thank you. Thank you, Biff Barnes, and I also want to thank these baseball players for giving us so much blooper material for this video. this great game.
Let's pause for a look at some of ESPN Sports Announced Blues as John Neighbor demonstrates the skill of kayaking. Put your hand, your right hand, up on the front of the cockpit. Front of the cockpit. Yep. Okay, there we go. Okay. Keep your weight on the dock. You want to grab okay. the paddle? Okay, here comes the paddle. Yeah, gotcha, Whoops. gotcha. All right. Okay. Now just push out sideways. Push, put the paddle on the water. See, okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. You know what? It's harder than it looks. It's rodeo time. That means bull kicking, horse stomping, good old fun. Check it on out. Here's a man who is a Rodeo Brown Cried. He's still a star. He, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Hold up. Oh, get, no. Hold up. Oh, no. Get up, Hawk. Get up, get up, get up. Look out, boys. We've got him down. He's out cold in the back of another chute. Let the horse out. Holy mackerel, Molly. He said, who turned out the last look at this guy? If there ever was a hero, you're looking at him right now. Here comes Idaho's Kent Cooper. He's been within $10 of winning a world championship on the top five for the last Whoa. three or four years. Nice dive. Cody Snyder, an 018 countdown to the Butler family. Cody Snyder is in trouble again. He took a terrible hooking in the last round. He comes in tonight with 10 stitches in his chin. Bill Waldman from New Mexico Cowboy. 16 years of age and oh, now, Bill's in a little trouble there. Making a good bull ride here. Number three bull rider in the state. Hang in there, Bubba. He's going to make the whistle. Good bull ride. The second bull we've got covered here in the finals. Look out, Bubba, run! Just a smart thing right there. He laid down and the bull ran over top of him. Looks like fun, doesn't it? Yes, sirree. Some wild moments from the sport of rodeo. Uh, 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 we do have trouble. We do have trouble now. His hand is caught in that rope. Come on, Needham. Come on. Whoa. There ah, you action. see, Ryan Byrne took a You know, we've been having a lot of fun today on this all-sports blooper marathon Saturday, but there is something I want to talk that deserves some serious commentary. commentary. Sports, Sports in our, in our society, society is regaled, regaled with a hallowed synopsis. synopsis. It is and will always remain with wondrous attainments, attainments noteworthy inducements, and unforgiving exaltation. exaltation. Granted. Granted. However, However, we must, we must never, never forget, forget the transpositional calamity of the sports world's most enduring legacy, that being the undeviating corruptibility of its overseers. The moment we forget this lesson, we will be doomed to repeat that. Let me repeat that. The moment we forget this lesson, we will be doomed to repeat that. Let's take time out for this important commercial message. And it's got great knockout looks. So, Larry, you don't have to be big to be tough. You are talking about trucking, <laughs> boy. <laughs> so, Larry, you don't have to... Oops, that's too close. <laughs> big Ford pickup. Fall, 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 fall. Fall, 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 fall. Big Ford pickup. Small Ford Rangers. Both the Ford Ford. Ford, 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 Ford. <laughs> Watch what? Okay, at camera, Larry. Don't forget the gesture, fellas. Ready? Action. Big Ford pickup. Small Ford Rangers. <laughs> Boy, don't. 121. Both the camera. Action. Big Ford truck. <laughs> Big Ford. Big Ford pickup, small Ford Ranger, bump them Ford top. Fall, 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 fall. Fall, fall, fall. I think we're running out of time.
give him a kiss. Wow. Today's boxing card starts off with these finely tuned, well-conditioned athletes. This is called the Tough Man Competition, where men off the street vie for the title of the world's toughest man. The bout you're about to see is refereed by Harry Paparapalapalus, and uh, that's who you'd like to see in a situation like this, uh, clearly. Uh, let's pick up the action. You know what they're cheering? They're cheering Turner fighting back because it looked like Hardy was going to put him away and Turner came right back at him. I'll tell you, I think Hardy can go into Bob Bell's lounge. Whoa, whoa! We've got two guys that are, are working on half brains. They're both a little dazed out there. <laughs> They're totally Let, I think Hardy's going to fall on top of them. He knows it's, it's, The official said guys, get up and Turner said no. no. Look at his legs. His legs are like rubber. It's like, it's like that, that rubber chicken that you... I don't think either man has enough power, Leander, to knock the other guy out. They're just leaning on each other. Whichever guy falls down the most, I guess, wins. You gotta give Judge Turner. Trips. If he wins anything, he's gonna win the All Heart Award. There we go. Now they're they love it. Oh, they love it. Oh, oh, they love it. Oh. <laughs> they're both down for another nap. He said he quit. He's got the fight. Mike Tyson, watch out. Next on the agenda, kickboxing. Kick man, kick man, kick man, kick, kick man. Ow, 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 ow. Punch me, punch me, punch me, punch me, punch, punch me. Hurt me, hurt, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, hurt, hurt me. Ow, kick man, kick man, kick, kick man, kick, kick man. Ow, hurt, ow, ow, hurt me. Ow, hurt, ow, kick, kick, kick man. Call a doctor. Call a doctor. Call a call a call a call a doctor. Oh, oh, that's a good looking kick. Did you see the athletic ability? Now to some different kind of hits. Bad snap. Will he drop kick it? He's gonna throw a pass. It's intercepted. McKnight touchdown. We're not sure whether arena football will ever be seen again. This is unfortunate because it gave us many inspiring moments like these. some monster madness. For the call of the accidents, I'm privileged to introduce two broadcasters that you'll never hear on ESPN, Flip Pepper and Spark. Hi, I'm Flip Pepper. My friends call me Jack. That's because my teacher once called me Flap by mistake instead of Flip. You know, so my friends had a Jack on at the end of it. You know, Flap Jack, get it, Spark? Yep. Spark here is our color man, and he'll be analyzing this event. Ain't that right, Spark? Yep. These trucks have V8 square diamond octane receptors with double rimmed wheels and four chrome hooded Spark igniters. Ain't that about how you describe it, Spark? Yep. Spark's a great color man, ain't he? 
Well, Spark, how would you describe the transmissions in these babies? Would you describe them as containing triple effective lubricating oil rigs with filter and rehabs cleaning the parts? Yeah. I had a feeling you'd say that. Good. This is Flip Pepper and Spark sending back to you, Roy Firestone. With a name like Firestone, he can't be all bad, huh, Spark? Yeah. That's Flip Pepper and Spark giving expert analysis on monster trucks. Uh, but everybody now knows everything they've always wanted to know about monster trucks. Hey, let's take our blooper road show out to the beach now. Call in the action. Another broadcaster ESPN is thinking of hiring uh, any day now. Yo, dudes, Sandy Beach here, man. Like, there's a lot of bizarre occurrences happening in the water, if you know what I mean, dudes. Oh, what a spill, man. This is like what happens when a total wave shark lives upstream, you know? No water, dude, but lots of action, man. Yo. Okay, we're back home now. Home, home on the foam. <laughs> oh, this is a clam slammer. Like, look at this dude. Awesome 360, dude. Hey, yo, dudettes, can you dig these motorheads, man? My mom wanted me to be a brain surgeon, but like I said, like, okay, I'm like a hydrologist, mom. <laughs> My girlfriend, Rainbow, loves me just the way I am. Bronze blonde and totally 100% righteous, okay? Hey, Mountain Man, stay on course, all right, man? Excellent, dude. <laughs> Hang ten, rubber man. <laughs> I just love watching these hombres ride the wild sea pony, okay? Hey, dig it. This is Sandy Beach saying, <laughs> life's a beach, dude. So hang ten, you big kahunas. <laughs> All right, let's continue horsing around. Hello, Ruff and Glystone here, reporting on the steeplechase. A wondrous test of equine athleticism. This guy's a beaut. <laughs> You like this event, Ruffin? And this event has always intrigued me personally. It's so demanding and yet so graceful. A double jump coming up! No! She met that totally wrong! Here's the biggest challenge of the day. The pressure clearly on. Can he do it? Can he pull it off? No, no, no! She's got four faults early on, and there she goes! Now she's got several more faults. Oh, it's very, very difficult today. Thank you, uh, Ruffy baby. Now a real ESPN broadcaster, Chris Fowler, showing us that broadcasting can be an unpredictable profession. A lot more still to come on ESPN Scholastic Sports America. Right after this break, we'll meet a student who escaped from the problems in his home. <laughs> I hear this guy snorting. Speaking of strange sounds, uh, just kidding, guys. What about Team Blazers? A little darling. Oh, 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 where? Uh, are you? <laughs> Chris, of course, has been around the network for a long time. One of the fine announcers in the business, and I know this for a fact because he told me, Roy, I'm one of the fine announcers in this business. Only kidding, Chris. Uh, one thing we do know about Chris, though, is that he can handle himself in any situation. Sometimes it's a pressure cooker out there, but Chris Berman has seen it all. The song goes, everything's up to date in Kansas City. But that's an old tune. This is a new team. The Kansas City... <laughs> Sometimes the fans get a bit rowdy. You know, it's not always easy doing these reports, as uh, Chris would be the first to admit. That's great. And then there are the times when you have to compose yourself, even though mayhem is breaking out all around you. Coming in three. Out of here. Coming in three, two, and one. You want Bedlam? We've got Bedlam here at the Boston Garden. All these games and only one point separates the Celtics and Sixers. But it's on now to the finals, a sight the Boston Celtics have known before. And for Philadelphia, again, get out of here. We're pretty bad. Ready? 
Three, two, one. These are no Celtic fans. Why are they yelling? Come on, where have you been? The Celts are going to the finals. Philadelphia has been beaten 91 to 90, and so it's a Boston-Houston final. Philadelphia has got to take a summer off and wonder what could have been. For this week in the NBA, I'm Chris Berman in a raucous Boston Garden. Now that's a real pro. Here he is, Chris Shelley Berman. Thank you very much, Roy. Steel-belted Firestone. By the way, who is that young guy with all the hair? I think I remember him. Over the years, I guess you could say that we've developed our own style here on SportsCenter. Our object, to entertain while we present the sports news. Of course, there are some serious issues to be discussed. Roy covered just about all of them in his commentary, commentary earlier. But on the lighter side, among other things, I am known as perhaps the master of the moniker for the baseball nicknames that we have fun with. If I had to pick an all-time favorite, probably John tonight, let it be Lowenstein, the one-time outfielder now announcer of the Baltimore Orioles. I've got a lot of mileage over the years from the cruises, whether it's Jose, can you see cruise, or Julio, won't you let me take you on a sea cruise, and then there's Todd Caribbean cruise, and as long as you have a body of water, you can nickname any future cruise in the major leagues. If I were to pick an all-star nickname team, first base, uh, although he plays outfield a lot now, he did break in as a first baseman. John, I am not a crook. Uh, my second baseman will probably be Steve Alto Sachs. A shortstop, you get hungry, so Fettuccini Alfredo Griffin. Third base, yeah, probably Jim Houndog Presley of the Seattle Mariners. Behind the plate, you can either go Jamie Mennett Quirk or Jody Davis Eyes. Uh, in the outfield, the classic Oda B. Young again, McDowell, George Taco Bell, Vaughn Purple Hayes. Uh, my starting pitchers, my righty would be Burt B. Home Bly Levin. My lefty would be Jim Two Silhouettes on Deshaies. My reliever, Jay Thurston B. Howell. My managers all get fired, like Pat O.K. Corrales and Cookie Days of Wine and Rojas. So we'll have to work on those. Uh, that's it for now. Now it's time to send it back, 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 back to Roy, where the rubber meets the road, Firestone, who has his report from where even his tires can't drive him to land down under Australia. All right, thank you, Chris Berman. Australian Rules football is on tap today. Here's my impression of how two notable American broadcasters might call this game. From a blustery, windy hill park in the city of Melbourne. Hello again, everybody. Howard Cosell. Today, the Hawks of Hawthorne with a record of 14 and 3, taking on the Essington Bombers at 9 and 8. But right now, let's go to my colleague, Keith Jackson, who'll take you the rest of the way. Keith the Roo. Well, thank you very much, and hello again, everybody. Yes, indeed, it do do. From Wendy Hill Park here in Melbourne, well, I tell you, they're ready to square it off, and there they go. Okay. The Essendon Bombers, not in it, moving the ball down the field. Oh, boy, I tell you, look at this ball. The ball is rolling down the outside, and it looks like one of the Hawks has it. Yes, indeed, he kicks it downfield. And it looks like right now a bit of a temporary kind of indecision here. Keith Theroux, yes, Howard. Keith Theroux, have you had a chance? Chance to taste one of those outstanding meat pies. Have you had a chance to taste them yet? No, Howard, I haven't, and I want to watch the football game, if you don't mind. Well, I'll tell you, I was downstairs, and I was quite impressed. As the ball goes out of bounds, right there, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. But that's the way it is here live from Windy Hill Park. Howard Cosell, Keith Jackson, saying goodbye from ABC, the Australian Broadcasting Company. And while we're on the subject of impressions, Here's some college basketball players doing their impressions of playing basketball. Maybe the term blooper ball might be more appropriate. Here's the way I think staccato Marv Albert might call this action. Strong move to the hoop. No. Yes. Baseline drive. Air ball. A shotgun outlet pass. Yes. A beautiful behind the back, no bucket, but what a nice little back dive. Hey, no jumping on yours truly here. Ooh, on the breakaway, slip sliding in for a deuce. Oh, definitely give him an Oscar. A wild cross guard pass, what a save. Yes, yes. Marv Albert here with the basketball superfan Jack Nicholson. 
Uh, speaking of fans, Jack, what do you think of these guys? Well, you know, Marv, it seems crazy to me. People wearing these ridiculous hats, coaches acting like children. I'm no party pooper, you know, it's no mere coincidence I play all those crazy roles. But today's basketball fans need a little decorum, you know what I mean, Marv? Yes! And what's a cardinal got to do with basketball unless it's the Vatican's mascot? And when you take a look at these guys, you got the Blues Brothers in the act. <laughs> Is that Belushi or Ackroyd? This is a coach, Rick Pitino. Now he's got a right to be miserable, right? Yes! North Carolina's got some crazy fans. Providence has some swinging players. When the game slows down, why not ignore all this sideline action and stick with the game? Yes, I agree! Come to think of it more, <laughs> I kind of like those crazy costumes, don't you? Yes! All right, skiing right along. That Jack Nicholson was performed by Biff Bam's other cracked voice man, Do Re Mi Conklin. And there's more where that came from, right? Right, Monster Head. Pee Wee here. Here's the first event of the day. For Cliff Dive! <laughs> he looks like he's having some trouble here. It's a long way down there. <laughs> Especially on his back. Use the brakes, Mr. Ski Man! <laughs> Remember, children, don't ski on your back, okay? Here's a brave person doing the mogul slalom. Well, he's trying to do the mogul slalom. Ha! Ah, maybe it's faster his way. Ha! Ah, give it up, buddy boy, give it up! Give it up! <laughs> Here's another mogul slalomer. Ha! Ah, Let's listen in, he's Mike. Ah, 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 ah. Surfboard event. What's he gonna do? Uh oh! Ha! Ah, back to you, Roy! Ha! Ah, back to you, Roy! Ha! Ah, ah, back to you, Roy! Ha! Ah, back to you, Roy! Ha! Ah. Over there. Watch out! Right. Oh. <laughs> All right, Pee Wee. We're here at the ice hockey arena, and Rodney Dangerfield is sitting beside me. Rodney, it's all yours. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Roy. It's very calm down here at the rink. <laughs> it's about as calm as an ocean cruise in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> I wouldn't even trust these guys with my wife. And she stopped a lot of clocks, <clears throat> pucks in her day. The referees are calling in the National Guard. Looks like my father just spilled coffee on himself again. Sit down, Dad. <laughs> I'll tell you it's rough. Maybe I should have been a hockey referee. <laughs> These guys get no respect. You're kidding, no respect at all. Look at this. <laughs> a bowling pin deserves better. No respect at all. Yo, Dad. <laughs> Watch what happens to this goaltender. My wife went out with a goalie once. He made her wear the mask. <laughs> you kidding me? Just checking the padding, right, Mr. Referee? <laughs> Talk about a happy hooker, the Rockettes he ain't. This shot looks like a pen and teller routine. Look, the red light goes on. It's a goal, right? <laughs> yeah, right. What a theft. Hello, 911? I'd like to report a robbery. <laughs> a swan dive. A backflip. A leapfrog. <laughs> Speaking of leapfrogs, Roy, just jump in any time. Okay, Rodney, uh, you don't seem like too much of a hockey fan. <laughs> That's not true, Roy. It's just that public displays of affection make me a little nervous, you know what I mean? The last time I kissed my wife in public, she had me arrested for assault with intense disgust. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's rough. Whoa, did you see that? The glass shattered. Kind of breaks you up, doesn't it? Now watch this guy in red steal the other guy's stick with his neck. <laughs> Great move, huh? Yeah, these are incredible athletes, Rodney. They can be acrobatic and they can be dramatic. Rodney, who in Hollywood could do this? What a dive! <laughs> yeah, I know a lot about dives. That's where I make all my dough. <laughs> so long, Roy. Bye, Rodney. Got some other things to do now, like introduce another ESPN Sports Announcing Blues, this time starring our own Larry Rossin. Runners on your mark. Get set. Good job, Larry. Now some sports updates. 
In baseball, the Philadelphia Phillies defeated the Chicago Cubs 5-4. The big moment in that game, a grand slam home run by Vaughn Hayes. In other action, the Mets took the Cardinals, the Giants beat the Dodgers, all other games in both the American and National Leagues postponed after four innings due to rain. Rain didn't stop Greg Norman from winning the U.S. Open. Norman shot a four under par 68 en route to the tournament final score of 272. Norman seen here birdieing the final hole, reacting with tremendous emotion. After his victory, he said he was glad to be alive. Let's continue the Biff Bam action with these racing Rambos. Buckle your seatbelt, we're going on a ride and it's going to be a bumpy one. the boy when he was a genius. Here's some more eye-catching action. Lacrosse. But not only is it eye-catching, it's also ear-splitting. We put our mics down on the field of action, and here's what we came up with. to Dick Vitale, who clearly gets carried away with his work. This guy is going to be a future political leader. He's going to work in our cabinet. Can you believe these guys are our future leaders in America? Unbelievable. Now listen to some Dick Vitale-isms. Coast to coast. Oh, yes. Hello. Billy the Chill Owen. Slim Jim Bammer. All down to Corciani. Oh, shot. The bank's open. Get a T.O., Mr. Knight. Get a T.O., baby. Get a timeout, Mr. Knight. Robinson. Oh, oh. little 
showtime. Ramil Robinson to the left hand, and they love it in an armor. Uh oh, uh oh, here comes a dunk. Taylor uh -oh. gets it back. Great touch pass. Great touch pass. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Another steal. Give it up, give it up. And Rice. That's what they want. Little dipsy do. Dick certainly has a way with the words, but how do you think he would describe himself? Here's how. Oh, yes. Hello. Bingo, bongo. Oh, showtime. Can you imagine the carrier dome right now? It would be unbelievable. The unbelievable Dick Vitale. And now, as our all-sports blooper marathon begins to wind down, let's take this moment to pause and ponder. Okay. This is surely a typical Saturday in America, and so today, as on most Saturdays, nearly 70 million sporting contests are being waged. ESPN, your all-sports network, is at maybe, say, half of these events. From the beaches to the bowling alleys, our giant radar dishes receiving transmissions from a multitude of events, a small sampling of which we would like to show you right now in our Reporters Roundup. A high school cheerleading contest yielded these results. She scores a direct hit on the referee, which is uh, worth 10 points. Although not often seen on television, high school basketball may be the true home of the Hail Mary buzzer beater. Now watch number 22 in white. What a sport. Once again, another one-point game, another hopeless heave, another Hail Mary. That's about 93 feet, folks. I know some NFL quarterbacks who would like to throw like that, huh? Again, from the high school ranks, this is a three-quarter court shot, a la Jerry West. And this is the most incredible shot of all, I think, going between his legs, behind the back to tickle the twine. Unbelievable. From the mountains, this downhill demon goes out of control, uh, nearly taking the fan with him. Instant replay reveals just how crazy a sport this really is. From high school football, another example of the growing tide of ref abuse. Ow! More high school football. More abuse but this time against the media. Is there a First Amendment rule against this? Yeah, in high school football. Seems nobody is safe here, not even the fans. From this All-Star game, we learn that even the boys in the band are in danger. That ought to toot his horn, huh? The player from this Monterey Lacrosse Club takes his game to uh, new heights. Now, that's what I call a leap of faith. This skier here is competing in the head first downhill, where skis are only used as a braking device. From the NCAA fencing finals, a very unusual defensive move. In this race, lightning strikes not once, but six times. As you watch these horses cross the wire, notice their numbers. Number one wins, two places, three shows, four comes in fourth, followed by the five horse, and you guessed it, bringing up the rear, number six, a Quintella plus one. From the shores of California, a high-flying boogie boarder a jumping jet skier and a windsurfing wipeout. We call this moto surfing. He takes the big kahuna. Well, this is it. Together we've witnessed and survived a day of the most incredible mishaps and miracles the sports world has to offer. To borrow an old phrase, 
It's been the best of times, it's been the worst of times. You've seen scenes of heartwarming camaraderie between players of the Indoor Lacrosse League. You've been inspired by the poise and the grace of people under fire. People like my friend Chris Berman. You've seen the best and worst of basketball and football and rodeo and all kinds of racing. And you've seen lots of uh, yours truly. So with no further ado, let's get back to the monitors one last time for some memories of the all-sports blooper marathon Saturday. For the amazing Biff, Bam, Boom, Anything Goes bloopers, I'm Roy Firestone. So long. Totally wrong. Palmer to take it right away, though. Oh, the win is left! I can't believe it! I can't believe it, Kelly! Well, there's one in every game, isn't there, Steve? <laughs> but it's on now to the finals! A sight for Boston Celtics have known before. And for Philadelphia, again... Get up and Trader said no. Look at his legs. His legs are like rubber. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. You know what? It's harder than it looks. Holy mackerel, Molly. Bye. I know the boy when he was a genius. I can name that tune in three beats. What about Team Blazers? Under the toe, darling. It was the gale force winds, not the monsoon rains, that El Toro had to worry about affecting their passing game in the CAF Championship Contest. <laughs> You're killing my back.